This is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to add custom skins on Minecraft Wii U Edition on CMU. So it's actually surprisingly really easy to do. So first of all, you need to download Pack Studio. Download the latest build and go just you can just look it up on the um, look it up on Google and you'll find you'll find the link right there. Super easy. So once once you have Pack Studio downloaded, you need to find a skin. Very simple to do. First, let's just look up, I don't know, awesome minecraft skins and let's see i don't know it's fine a really let's find a, let's find a one that looks garbage you know like super generic all right we found a very generic looking minecraft skin this one right here then we're going to save image as and just name it whatever i don't know let's name him bob all right. After we got our skin pack, we are basically we are good to go. Open Pack Studio, go to File and press on New. This will create this will create a brand new pack file. You're gonna right click, press Create, and you're gonna go in Skin. Then from here, you're gonna bring up the Skin Creator. Generate here is to make your own custom 3D models for skins, but we will not be going over on this tutorial. You're gonna press Select Texture, and you're gonna bring up your skin file. If it's asking you that it's an invalid skin, you might want to convert it into a regular 64x64 64 64 PNG file. Sometimes they just simply will not work. If that happens, highly use, I highly suggest you use paint.net, put the file in there and save it. And it should fix the issue. So now we have our skin. If it's an Alex skin, press this arrow here and go down to Alex. Then we're going to go to the skin ID. You're going to press on autogen. Do not leave it on local, otherwise it will not work. Then from here, put in a name. It can be anything you want. Let's put awesome Minecraft skin. We're all set. If you want to add a, if you want to add a cape file, just press on this little box here and press add cape. Then from here, look for your look for your cape file. If that also doesn't work, just put it on paint.net and fix it from there. After that, we are set. Create our skin and it should show up right here. Then we want to do is we need to change the pack ID for the skin pack. If you do not change it, it will not show up show up in the game. Go to the zero and then press pack ID, and you're gonna set it to just random numbers. Let's say I don't know, put 456. It can be anything. As long as it doesn't overwrite the numbers from the actual skin packs in the game, it should show up in the game. Man, I repeat myself a lot. So then after that, you're set. You got your pack ID. Now, if you want to change how it will look in the game, like when it comes to the name, just press the lock, just press lock, and then you'll brought up to this screen. Here, just type in this box your skin. If you want it to appear on the top, put it like I don't know with a number or a letter, the first letter of the alphabet, which is A. Because the skins are listed in alphabetical order. So if I put Alex Cool skin alex cool skin then replace all and there you go it's going to reply for everything if you want to do it manually for every single um for every single language then feel free to do so but you don't necessarily have to do it if you want to if you want to change the name for your skin then you can just go here and just do exactly the same but other than that we're set we're going to check it one more time if it applied and there we go it did after that you're set your skin is done. Feel free to add as many skins as you want. I'm not I'm not too sure about the limit, but you can just add as many skins as you want. It can be it can be like I don't know a 3D model. It can be this. It can be that. There's so many things you can do with Pack Studio. After this, you want to press new, press file, save as, and just name it whatever you want. I don't know. Go back to Bob again. Your pack file is now saved. You can see here. This is our pop. This is our pack file containing the skin. After that, you're done with Pack Studio. You don't need it anymore. Now, simply open up CMU. If you you can just do this manually, but I highly suggest you just do this. Right click, update directory. It's not the DLC directory. It's the update directory. If you go to DLC, it is not going to work. You need to go to the update directory. Click on content, Wii U, DLC, and here we are. This is where all the deal. This is where all the skin skin packs are are located. And this is what the this is what the uh, emulator or essentially the game is gonna read the skin packs. As you can see here, I already have a, I already have a few few skins here. 
WordPress, you're gonna you're gonna basically right click, create a new folder, name it whatever you want. If you want it to appear on the top, I don't know, put one, it'll appear on the very top. Then this is where you want to place your your skin pack. Drag it there, and boom, we're set. Now the game has a new skin. Simply boot up the game, and if and if done correctly, we just gotta look for it, and there we go. Our our low tier our low tier skin is now on screen, which is very cool. I don't even know why just for the example, but yeah, it's very very easy to do this. It requires literally nothing, no complex things or whatsoever. Just simply drag and drop files, and you're all set. So if you if you want to. Uh, I might make a tutorial on how to do the 3D skins on Pack Studio, but that's if that's if anyone wants it, which I highly doubt. But anyway, that is um that is all I have to say for it. That's all I have to say. It, I really hope you find this tutorial useful. I'm not really good at explaining things just out of out of my head and not like reading them from a script. <laughs> but yeah, super base, super easy. Just drag and drop files, and you're all set to go. Anyways, thank you for watching, hope you found this useful, and well, I'll see you later.